<laughs> One day, Captain Bay's crew discovered a ship on the random odyssey across the ocean. Ship ahead! Wait, I can see a spiral on the flag! A spiral? It must be Captain Van. Oh, I dearly love to see the beautiful golden nautilus shell again. Which I once lost in gambling to him. Is it really golden? Mamma mia! No, it's the golden ratio that makes it precious. The angle between the tangent and the line to the center is always constant. Oh, this spiral is so self-similar. Captain Van sends his regards. He admires the random compass and by chance offers to share his experience with his golden nautilus wheel. That's very kind. Hmm, what is the golden nautilus wheel? Launch the boat. Let's see what random news await us there. <laughs> On the ship of Captain Ben, they use a different way to randomly decide the task of the day. It ironically all began with the Nautilus shell Bernoulli lost to Captain Ven years ago. Captain Ven separated the shell into four quarters and let tar drops fall randomly on the rotating Nautilus shell. The quarter marked by the first tar drop determines the activity of the day and the wages each crew member will earn. The largest section is dedicated to sailing and brings six pennies. Second comes fishing combined with a change of direction, making four pennies. Then swabbing the decks is worth three pennies. And finally, the fourth section announces a free day, which is still rewarded with one penny. For practical reasons, the principle of the Nautilus shell was transferred onto the Nautilus wheel with corresponding arc lengths. The selection of the task of the day could now be performed without splending valuable tar just by spinning the wheel. So this is the way I use my golden nautilus wheel to decide the task of the day and to pay my crew. I was wondering if you already know from experience how many free days the random compass produces. In 1000 days, my crew got 110 free days. Not from experience, but from the principle of indifference, we know that for my crew, every fourth day is a free day on average. Pooh, I would quit if I had to work 10 days in a row, no matter how much money I get. As a member of the sailing union, I have to ask if you can guarantee your crew at least one free day in every 10 days. Well, not exactly, but I can guarantee you a free days ratio of at least 10% if you join me for at least 10,000 days. That means you get a thousand out of 10,000 free days. Would this please you? How do you know about the ratio of free days? I don't trust your numbers, but I love this miraculous spiral. Well, in experiments we trust. Bernoulli. How about that? I will give you this Nautilus shell back. If you can tell me the exact numbers of how many days on average my crew is spending on each task. I think by the power of inference we can provide our numbers without performing so many experiments. In base we trust. Captain Ben, I admire your random task management. But you shouldn't be so confident. Your wheel produces at least 1000 out of 10,000 free days. It might not be totally true that you get your free days ratio of 10% or more. Well, I know that for 100 out of 1000 free days my statement is wrong. The experimental results vary too strongly. But can you provide a concept of how this works? You should not think so black and white. We should quantify this variance of the free days ratio and see what makes the difference when we look at a sample of 1000 or 10,000 days. Bernoulli spent hours of studying the golden ratio of the logarithmic spiral to win his beloved golden nautilus shell back, while Bayes was thinking about the implications of large numbers. Can you help your captain and Bernoulli to answer these questions? <laughs> 
What is the probability to get a free day on Captain Van's ship? What are the average wages? How can we quantify the variation of the ratio of free days? What is the probability to work 10 days in a row? In the following video, you will be provided with the tools to answer these questions. You will be introduced to variance and mean value. And you will learn how to deduce these quantifiers from samples. I guess Captain Basenthal might agree to the law of large numbers to conclude this debate of variance. The spiral Bernoulli is examining is a logarithmic spiral that has the property that the angle alpha between the spiral and concentric circles is always constant. The radius of such a logarithmic spiral can be parameterized by the angle theta, given in radian with the following relation. The parameter k is the slope and given by the tangent of the angle alpha. The golden spiral has in addition the property that the radius grows by the factor of phi, the golden ratio for every quarter turn it makes. To answer Captain Venn's question about the exact probabilities of the four tasks, we have to study the arc lengths of the four sectors. The formula of the arc length of a logarithmic spiral is given by the following equation. It relates basically to the radii of the spiral after quarter turns, which for the golden spiral are powers of phi. The ratio of the individual sector arc lengths will enable us to help Bernoulli to win back his beloved golden nautilus shell. 